First? Last. First passion, last passion food? Hi guys, how is it? Hi guys, how is it going? I'm at my friend Olga's place, and super quick, we're gonna go around the garden, and Olga gonna show what's going on, what's ripening, and she has how many varieties of mangoes? Nineteen. Nineteen? You went up. Last time you had like thirteen. No? Wow. <laughs> so I also wanted to show you this uh, Jamaican cherry or a strawberry tree that you can plant it in a pot because this is an HOA community. It is. You can get away Plus with pots. It's super, super invasive. You don't want to plant it next to the house. So it's really hard to... It, it really grows really quick and but you can see it flowering yeah. and fruiting and uh, I'm gonna probably cut in the little bird taking the berry. A cardinal. They are so pretty but they love okay. their belly too. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> You're planting some. And this one, you use the, a bottle brush as a trellis for the yes, I'm passion bottle, fruit. Yes, I'm bottle brush tree. <laughs> this is a purple possum, right? Yes. Purple possum. Is it sweet? Very sweet? It is sweet. We don't add sugar to it at all. Oh yeah, I never add sugar to... Well, uh, some... Some people doesn't some really varieties. care. But <laughs> and well, you have it. some citrus. Look, the silids are killing it. Yeah, same here. The citrus doesn't do very well in my garden as well. And this is uh -huh. the butterscotch sapodilla, correct? Yes, last year I had the three fruit of those pomelo. Pomelo. Yeah, this year it all fell off. We had the storm. So, uh, this one is, you said the lemon meringue. Lemon meringue. You can see that, you know, the ripple the leaf, and you can tell that or a lemon meringue or a lemon zest. The lemon meringue is the parent of the lemon zest uh, mango variety. This Neelum. one, Neelum, ice cream. ice cream variety mango, and this is Venus. Oh, yes, yeah, so this is what Venus. They sell us three gallon nowadays. Three gallon. Oh my gosh. Yeah, $40. $40 for a three gallon and this is the size. But it's gonna grow quick in Florida. Oh. And oh we left out one. That and that's a dark mango. It was just recently trimmed back so it can grow out as a nice little tree. I see over there a um, Barbados cherry and then an avocado. That's my sacrificial plum. The, the plum. The weevils love it. Oh Absolutely. yeah, the weevils, what they don't love. You know, the only thing they don't attack is the anonas for me. They eat my anonas. Really? They don't? Which my, my... spider web. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it's a crab spider, it looks like. I'm good at uh, picking them up sometimes in my hair. But uh, this one is... Um, uh, this one, a Karen Michelle, you said? Yes, I did the grass last year. Look at that. Look at how big is that mango. Beauties. The previous fruit that we picked, it was a pound, 12 ounces and something. Wow. Almost two pounds. Very nice size. Uh, this is a very nice mango. Uh, I love the way you trimmed it, trimmed it and... Oh, is the NAB trimmed hard? It's gonna be trim hard. Or oh, maybe I can come when you trim it. You're welcome to. Is that bees or is. I think uh, it looks like bees. I can't see. Ooh, wasps. Wasps. It's tiny. Wasps. I had a few cardinal nests on this tree. That's why I didn't touch it, even though it didn't bloom. Yeah, you. Uh, I like cardinals. Oh yeah, cardinals are so nice. <laughs> but still, they are so beautiful. So this is white peary. I, after my lychee died, I planted a uh, mango here. White uh, peary. The, well, it took. You see, there there is new growth. Yes. So I'm hoping to survive. This is my ugly duckling. The coconut cream. Coconut cream. Oh, I it love coconut cream mango. That's. Like a, I think if all goes well, I think next year we're going to have a lot of coconut cream. I mean, I know it's uh, early to say I it, had, but my tree is I getting had big. Third, third 
13 last year. That's a lot. That is yeah, a whole that's lot. Here. Oh, look at the papayas, you guys. We have to bag them up so the um, uh, papaya fruit fly wouldn't get into them. It's a pain still, in the... Still get into Still it. get into it. Yeah, well... Yeah, I mean, honestly, if there would be no... <laughs> I know the... Oh, the Atamoyas! Look at that. Look at how small is that tree. And look yeah, at the amount again. of fruit. And look at the... Bloom is coming in once again. You can see the flower buds and look at the fruits, you guys. I have I have a lot of sets at the garden too with the atamoyas. So this is gonna be the first year that I actually I can try it. Looks like <laughs> because we have it now. I hope look at to that. try it as well because last year I only had one fruit and the boar got into it and same thing happened to me only had one fruit and it was ruined by the anona seed borer that's why i put the bags but i didn't put on some of them oh look at these that's orange orange oh you got that. so okay so you have all these mango varieties which one is your favorite do you orange have sherbet. orange sherbet yeah i, I like it the best. super high on my list as well because the flavor is I amazing like firm. i like that it's super sweet has Fiberless, virtually, right? It's like yes, so yes. good. Well, you try it. This is a beautiful. Uh, this is a beautiful tree. Yeah, I love the. Get this cut as well. I, I still have a couple of fruit left, but it's gonna get cut uh, after. Probably. It's gonna get a nice hair, haircut. Yeah, I I cut everything short so that. I do cut them back bother. too because I don't want them to grow way too high. This one we have two fruit. This is Nishikawa. Nishikawa. Had more, but he died. Avocado tree. And this one is uh, Pickering, you said? Yes. Pickering this tree. Is, uh, an accident. Accidental Ooh. jackfruit. Jackfruit. This is the the easy peel, the one that was small fruit. It's wow. Very tasty. Um, uh, some too. It's my oh, look at the pineapples. Look at and that. they said that I there is have to remove uh, and replant and stuff. And so this is the third generation of pineapple. The first one, it was five pounds, like almost six pounds. Wow. And the next one was five pounds. And well, we'll see. Wow. <laughs> that's amazing I Martha think. is gonna get trimmed too so you need to come to yes I would love look. to grab the Maha do you want to get some today? Um, look, it's like a perfect candidate I mean you know what I, I probably I should because uh, many times when I don't do it right then right. when I have the opportunity then I'm like oh man I wish if I would <laughs> look, you can yes look absolutely I ones. mean look at the look at the mangoes Look at the mangoes. Look at how beautiful and big mangoes. Oh, yeah. Look at the shape. That's the Mahachanuk. Beautiful. Yeah, I love it. The look at them. Look. <laughs> they are like ornaments on the tree. And what kind? This, is this the Glen? Uh, or? Glen. Glen. Oh, this is rosy gold. Rosy gold. And these are all trimmed back nicely because Olga shapes their trees. I mean, I love the way you shape your trees because well, you keep them. I got criticism that uh, this didn't look good, but you see, because it didn't look good, it seemed. It's too coming out, so hey. <laughs> you can see the new growth popping out. You can see. I cut through the leaf ring, not above or. Or below, I cut through. A little if bit. If I want, if I want multiple shoots, if I want single shoots, like with this tree, when I cut uh, like this, it typically sends only one because I don't need a bunch in the in the middle of the tree. Correct. We want more light, so more photosynthesis yes, so to the. I cut and only one uh, grows, but if if I cut. Like if I cut out out here, it goes multiple multiple shoots. 
I don't need umbrellas everywhere because well, you need some light in too and some airflow probably. That's what you were. And this one is the macho. Look at the look at the bunch of mangoes. Just four mangoes all over on each other. Very nice. I am so looking forward for the mango you offered. I mean, you gave us. And this one for the uh, for the landscapers when they come so they wouldn't um... well i am the landscaper i know my skills <laughs> so, I have so, to my so you want to protect me. the trees and just so um you can do the weed vacuuming yes because VD i thing. am a known landscaper and, uh, <laughs> i can feel anything around <laughs> Did we forget anything? No, that was the uh, we and then and then you have some others over here. You probably want to see the one and only one and only this year. <laughs> well, uh, I had an accident with a neighbor's kid. He broke the tree last year, so it didn't produce many oh, fruit. Oh, look at the persimmon! You know, I have a persimmon. Do you have the fuyu or? It's the, it used to be called Florida, South Florida variety. So you have a different variety then, but this I have the other one. Pine, M MDM number four. Well, this is some kind of fancy, fancy fee. It's it called the raspberry latte. Raspberry I latte. I mean, it sounds wonderful. And this is the gold neck something, or yeah, yeah. you got yellow me a long. cutting. Yellow, yellow long neck. I something. suck at it, but my uh, neighbor, grew it right a couple houses down the road she brought me it was this big it, it was large full fig uh i'm not super i don't have a huge success with the fig so far either this is my oh look at the little green uh, what what kind are you i have to ask oh, my husband or something, right? uh looks like it right they are so rare um well, i don't see it in our I garden they don't really spray any kind of pesticide so they that uh, definitely they helps everything and look i managed i managed this is the first time because this is the fail this is the fail and look at that and it's that's... pushing out and this awesome. is pushing out so i made several okay drafts. so this is the uh ever bearing the, right? ever bearing and the little uh, itty bitty and... Um, and I grafted the Pakistani on it. Pakistani, okay. That's the long, uh, longer. And this is the Carolina Reaper. Carolina Reaper. And then there is another pepper here. Cherry pepper, which grew itself. Oh, that, those are the best because you don't have to put any effort and they yeah, grow. Yeah, I guess the birds planted or something. This is the May 1 uh, jackfruit. jackfruit very nice you know um i'm thinking of maybe sometimes going out to bukelia and they sell the pineapple tasting it's a variety jackfruit it tastes like pineapple or lemon or i tried but i purchased organic peeled from there and that nearly ended jackfruit for me really we, we did not we came home yes all the folks we threw it away Seriously, I spent money on something and I threw it away. No way! <laughs> and you love jackfruit. After that, my friend Matt offered me. I'm like, really? I, I don't like it. It stinks. It's leathery. <laughs> it's disgusting. He's like, well, try this one. I tried. I, I'm growing it. You're growing this one from seed, correct? Yes, because they produce faster from seed. We'll see. For now, well, this is one year one year look at oh unbelievable oh god you you really have the green tom i mean I, I don't have i don't have this big of a jackfruit from one year growth i just don't like well, <laughs> maybe i have more shade too but this is amazing from one year it, yes that's you crazy in. look at look at the look wow amazing like do you use like a lot of compost or I what use, what's your secret? I use the, <laughs> the soil, the cactus and citrus soil. Oh, okay. And and, and look at this is now these are some blueberries. I know your no, raspberries. That's, that's the, the blackberries. Black thornless. thornless. I have that one. And then the, the, the raspberries. 
the raspberry is super fruitful for you, right? Well, this is second fruit set, so... I'm Did you say this was the Joanne? Joanne, yeah, it's it also thornless. Thornless, which is a wonderful... Like the, the prickly ones. Prickly and, uh, well, this is always full, always full when we come. And this is also... Um, is this... Uh, do you know the blueberry variety? Is this the high bush or... This is the... Uh, Honestly, this one is uh, whatever was sold at Sunshine Blueberry. I think I got that one. And, then and the that other. one, I don't know what it is. But it's doing well. Well, when it was uh, standing in the sun, it had a lot more berries. This, this year I rearranged and it doesn't have that many berries. Yes. Mm, they're pretty oh, nice size. They are they're nice size blueberries. Look at the <laughs> blackberry. These can grow so big. Yes, they usually. It's like one stuff. of the last ones, but they they do come. And I see that you compost directly in the uh, pots. And this is a lot of composting. Like you know when you overripe bananas and whatnot. Well, we throw away bananas into, and, into the pots. And they're doing. And this one is a very nice pineapple because it it's is not scratchy. Not scratchy. Doesn't cut you when you're nearby. And this is the sugar what, loaf. Sugar loaf. Sugar loaf. I love this variety. Not to mention, look at the pretty colors from the sun and look at the and those uh, the custard that you gave us oh the red custard apple those are, oh my gosh i love that custard apple i can't wait for the fruit now and it's flowering this is the lemon drop mangosteen that you gave looks to me i may have to get you another one but looks to me like an achachairu wait is it not the same it's not it's not well I like it's, that. It's, it's an achachai ru. Whatever you gave it to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was an achachai, I think. Um, fruit, I think. I, and, yeah, I put the seeds in. And the, that's the same, but you have a bigger one. Yeah, I have. Uh, I want the rafsu, and that's the Pakistani mulberry that's this growing one. for me, too. It's, and from cutting. Yes. So it's doing very well from cutting. I have to get you some uh, world's best mulberry that is such a good variety and it grows so easily from cutting well so, i wasn't successful yeah. with any mulberries until i cut them in sections about two inches three yeah. inches and i grafted them on that tree and uh, i stuck a couple in in ground because uh, well it didn't work out for me before i think you should definitely try the world's best also because it's such well, like it, it's really good great yeah yeah anytime i mean you guys also then you come out remind me also and i can also bring it i already have actually ones that it's already alive and growing so you can have that and yeah where yeah <laughs> i'll i'll take some sticks for the grass but uh, yeah, the, the secret in ingredient according to olga is the cactus palm and citrus store soil and the uh, black cow cow manure manure oh, oh, what not really because or not the black cow i don't use it in pots i tried using it with bananas oh got you because they are heavy feeders and then so this is what you use mostly in your yes, pot the, the cactus palm and citrus soil if awesome. uh, if there is a cold spell and you have to carry uh it's just heavy to carry pots but with and that yeah. soil you can pick it up and Theory. And then That's you use the, the these parts. Uh, you got it from Home Depot or Lowe's? Yes, but Aldi has a better deal now. Oh, really? It's the same big? Bigger. Oh, bigger. Okay. Yes. 12 so, nine. 12 nine. Oh, that is a really great deal for a bigger pot than that. And I see you have um, the dwarf um, Cavendish banana, if yes. I remember correctly. And the other one, is it the ice cream? Well, it was sold as ice cream. I never had a ripe banana of it. But uh, it's doing very well right now. So hopefully this year it, you're going to have it some. Seems, uh, it seems the flowers, but the, the fruit dies. Um, these uh, suffered uh, from cold. The, uh, yeah, cold damage. So Same the, here. 
Uh, you usually the bunches are a little bit bigger. But... Oh, usually I remember last year your bunches were bigger. And same with me. My bunches are not as big this year. But honestly, I don't need the 40 pounds of bananas. Really yeah, much. so... This is yeah. more than enough. And I see you have the charcoal. Yeah. <laughs> you did that? My husband needed the place to throw it away. Oh, perfect. So for bananas. <laughs> But no, thank you so much for uh, showing the garden and I was, I was like, uh, before it's, because right now you can still have, you still have mangoes on and you picked a good amount already probably. And how did you protect it at the winter time? Because I know I didn't cover anything. You didn't cover it? No, we had 28 degrees like for, uh, for this particular tree and for Pickering, uh, they both were in bloom and I put the construction lights, two lights per tree. So you didn't use any sheets, anything? Didn't use anything at all. And, uh, they were in bloom and they produced, so this tree produced 32 fruit. This is the second year fruiting. The wow, first, young first tree. First year uh, fruiting it was 20 some. Yes. So this year was 32. I didn't have any drop, any fruit drop. That is super. Year. I mean, it's a very nice tree. It's a healthy tree, so. They all held up. Some are small, like this. That's a nice size. That is a nice size. Look. Well, some but uh, small, small compared to another one, the Karen Mich Michelle, which is. Yes, but even, even these. What I picked today was like well over a pound and some of these that I hate like out here the four on the same branch. Yes. And the branch was growing in odd shape, so that's gonna go of course next weekend I'm gonna trim. Oh you're gonna trim next weekend? Yes, it's it's gonna it's gonna be bold. <laughs> this year I didn't trim mangoes because they get so damaged from the frost, uh, the well, freezing. Well, I think it should at least, uh, at least uh, a little bit, at, at least, yeah. uh, I don't know, three inches or something. Yeah. Well, this is too long and going up, so I'm probably gonna go to here. Yes. Last year I trimmed them so well, and like too much, I guess. Here yeah. and, well, usually I I trim at least thirty percent, uh, up to a half of the tree because I I don't need. Uh, uh, my neighbor tree. has gigantic trees. Oh yes, I saw that one. It's he, huge. He picks them from the ground, and I want to you. come and pick it in my. Table. Yes, so because I, you don't want to damage the fruit when it's falling. So I I prefer to just come. I lift. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Tree doesn't give it to me, so it hangs. But if tree gives it to me, if it fall, like falls into your hand, then it's ready. Yes. So this is gonna be all cut. That's where the fruit. And I think you can also keep the tree healthier, probably because now you get some airflow, get some new growth. Well. And manageable. I I like bushier trees. I like them like rounded i know that some people cut the middle like the glen i didn't particularly choose that shape it just it grew in that shape and many people like it i prefer rounded than like a bowl shape yes so, this uh, one is the glen when, when i'm gonna Do cut the cock shell i'm gonna cut this just because it's flush and i'm gonna let it finish hardening yes it's gonna come down come down to about here because if you if you let it grow and then it sends out the panicle it's gonna be on the ground i see because yeah. now I'm not gonna have a lot of um what's the word like uh to help me out here um uh, it's not gonna have a lot of uh, strength with if it's a uh, longer <laughs> if it's a longer uh, branch. So I prefer I prefer it shorter so that when the fruit those fruit are already nearly on the ground. And I had last year I had two hundred mangoes on oh on the cock shell so a lot of them were 
touching the ground. I had to prop them and... It's a lot paint. more work, yes. And the wood is expensive nowadays, so... Yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. But you see, when I cut not at the ring, this is, I'm gonna have two branches. This. Yes, it's and gonna if I, grow. And if I cut here, here, I get two like, branches. Yes, you get or, like a whole lot more. Or five branches. And yes. While it's good to have four or five branches, but this, this is too long and if all of it has fruit, it's gonna slip yeah. or it, Correct. it's gonna be on the ground. So I, yes. I try to minimize it. No, I think uh, you giving good ideas because, uh, I, I, like I said, unless you want a big, huge mango tree, but well, then... Well, some people do. Some people like shade trees, and technically it's not bad. I mean, we can put a bench around it, rest and stuff. But if you have the space also, yeah, because the most, <laughs> no, most of us don't have the big gardens like we have, have gardens four but members of HOA on my street so, uh, so yeah moderate and especially if you have <laughs> especially if you have uh, uh, other wishes like other fruit if you like variety and I know you love variety I too do. so yeah you want space so you can have more space oh yeah Thank you very much. Uh, if you want space, then you keep them shorter, smaller. Oh, shit. That was actually good. Oh, that blackberry? Very good. No. The blackberry they're... was good? Yes, usually they are Mine was not, Mine was pretty nasty when I tried it. I was no, like, uh, I tried it on camera and I'm like, oh, you know what? This is not the best. No, it's I, bitter. I, I, and... I don't eat them. They're big. They're like this. This was really good the blueberry though it mm -hmm. was very good like the blueberry was good I, too. I can taste Which the sunshine weird. and the sweetness and it was pretty good all right guys thanks so much for watching thank you Olga once again <laughs> <laughs> and see you guys later have a good one bye take care